Hello adventurers, great news, NASA has announced the upcoming arrival of a spectacularly large meteor shower. This year's annual Persid meteor shower is expected to be one of the largest and most active in history, capable of lighting up the sky with a supersized display of exploding space debris. If you ask most skygazers to name their favorite meteor shower, the odds are good that Persid will be the first word out of their mouths. This annual shower seemingly has it all, it offers a consistently high rate of meteors year after year, it produces a higher percentage of bright ones than most other showers, it occurs in August when many people take summer vacation, and it happens at a time when nice weather and reasonable nighttime temperatures are common north of the equator. No other major shower boasts all four of these attributes. According to Bill Cook at NASA's Meteoroid Environments Office, this year's meteor shower should provide us with an especially dazzling light show, as three separate debris streams are poised to intercept Earth. Forecasters are predicting a Persid outburst this year with double normal rates on the night of August the 11th to the 12th. Under perfect conditions, rates could soar to 200 meteors per hour. In a typical year, observers under a clear dark sky can expect to see up to 100 meteors per hour. The pursts begin as tiny specks of dust that hit Earth's atmosphere at 37 miles per second, vaporizing from friction with the air and leaving behind the streaks of light we call meteors. These dust particles were born in a periodic comet known as 109P-Swift-Tuttle which last returned to the inner solar system in 1992. But the giant planet Jupiter recently nudged Swift Tuttle's debris stream closer to Earth's orbit. If predictions hold true, we could see up to 200 meteors per hour the night of August 11th and 12th. So, thank you Jupiter. As the Earth orbits the Sun, our big blue and green spaceship comes into regular contact with the debris field left by the comet. Due to Jupiter's gravitational pull, some groupings of debris are more densely packed than others, this year's shower is expected to be one of this particularly dense debris fields. While watching the light show of the meteor shower is interesting enough on its own, NASA's Bill Cook says the shower is remarkable due to the incredible distances the comet fragments travel before exploding in our skies for our enjoyment, here's something to think about. The meteors you'll see this year are from comet flybys that occurred hundreds if not thousands of years ago. And they've traveled billions of miles before their kamikaze run into Earth's atmosphere. In North America, the shower will be visible between midnight and sunrise on the morning of August 12th. In the Southern Hemisphere, the best viewing times will be between August 1st and the full moon on August 10th. Alright, adventurers, I would like to hear about your best meteor sighting. Post down below with the details and I'll disclose my finest observations. If you would simply like to chat, please post down below as well. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Talk to you soon.